Hey guys, it's Kurt. I'm back in the garage today. I'm bringing you a review and today we're looking at the Primal Armor Denali Bar. Like normal for my barbell reviews, we're going to cover the specifications of the bar, my training notes, and then we're going to compare prices at the end of the video. This is the 29 millimeter black zinc coated power bar from Primal Armor. Primal Armor is newer on the scene as far as barbells and equipment goes. This is a made in USA piece of equipment and it is actually pretty phenomenal. And it definitely meets all of the boxes that I have for a power bar. At 86 and a half inches long, with 16 and a half inch loadable sleeve. It provides both the length that meets IPF specifications, as well as having just that quarter inch extra bit of loadable sleeve length compared to other major brands on the market. The shaft diameter is 29 millimeters, which is what we come to expect from most power bars and almost every power bar available today does come with a 29 millimeter shaft. The knurling is, I'm gonna call it moderately aggressive. It has a four inch center neural area, 32 inches between the neural marks on the outside, which as we know from a power bar, that is exactly what we're looking for. It has a bushing style sleeve design and comes with bright zinc sleeves as the standard option. About one and a half inches before it enters into the actual sleeves, the knurling does terminate and all of the neural termination points both at the end, at the neural marks, at the end of the inside knurling, the center knurling is all done phenomenally. There's no stray knurling going on, no double tracking, absolutely no issues. This is a well-made bar. If we go back to the sleeves real quick as well, one of the things that I was impressed with upon receiving this barbell, which came in a tube very well packaged, was that there's almost no play in the actual sleeve. Normally with power bars, you do get a little bit of in and out play, but with this, it's less than one millimeter. I was actually, it does move ever so slightly, but it is less than one millimeter, which is really great because it actually doesn't bind up at all. There's no restrictions and also although this doesn't matter for powerlifting necessarily when you give the sleeves a spin they are almost silent so the reason for that is the bushing design but when you break the sleeves down which come with a snap ring style construction you'll see that they did a little bit of ninja stuff here and they actually use what I'm guessing is some white lithium grease on the very end of the barbell. What that does is it quiets the bar down so that it rotates smoothly and because of where it's located inside of that snap ring construction in most gym applications it's not going to attract a whole bunch of dirt debris and chalk which would gum it up. Now for you audiophiles out there that always hate barbells that have the ribbed construction this does actually have a ribbed marking on the outside so i'm sorry no smooth sleeves for everybody out there but honestly from what i have used it works really well as far as maintaining its grip using the collars now keep in mind a lot of that's going to be based upon which collars you used what lift you're doing and how aggressive you're being during that lift now i first became aware of the primal armor band at home gym con in 2023 i was talking with jeff who is the owner who is also a firefighter for those of you looking to support small businesses owned by heroes and he basically sold me on the bar. I did pay full price for this so it arrived to me seven months ago. I have been using it almost exclusively for my power movements and some other movements as well in that amount of time and it's stood up really well to abuse. Now I don't clean this thing after every single use but earlier today just prior to the review I did knock out the chalk that was in the knurling and everything came out really nicely. There's no oxidation marks that were underneath that chalk and again the reason that I tend to keep my chalk into the bar when I'm reviewing it is because I know that not everybody leaves their bars in pristine condition condition or sometimes someone will watch this review when they're looking to get this bar for their gym where maybe a member doesn't actually clean it out after every use. If that is you, don't worry. Uh, the black zinc coating stands up really well, but on that coating, it is a black zinc coating. So for those of you that think that black zinc is slippery, this feels the exact same as every other black zinc coating. And I would also articulate that if this was exposed to a little bit more UV, so if it was exposed to sunlight on a more regular basis, I'd be willing to bet that the actual shaft would start to fade just like a normal black zinc coated shaft would fade. 
As far as actual use though, this thing performs just like you would expect a power bar to perform. Like I said earlier, the Neuralink is grabby. I would compare it to being about even with the Ohio Power Bar. It's basically right on that same thing. It is a volcano style Neuralink. It is really nice with or without chalk, but if you do use chalk, it really does just nicely grab into the skin. And of course, it leaves that nice pattern in your hand when you release the bar. That way you know you grip something. If you've felt the Kabuki Next Gen Power Bar Shaft, I would say that it is just underneath that one as far as grabbiness goes. But something to note is that this is definitely not an aggressive, like an aggro style aggressive knurled bar. This isn't gonna cut you, this isn't gonna damage you like an aggro style bar will. So if you're one of those sadist masochist type who really like to just bleed in the gym, Maybe this isn't the bar for you, but if you're like the rest of us, maybe this is the bar for you and a really good choice. As I said at the beginning of the video, this is an American made piece of equipment. It is a small business that is owned by a firefighter, which I'm gonna go ahead and count underneath my public service, law enforcement owned, military owned companies. And of course it is of superior quality in nature. Therefore it meets all three of my conditions for being something that I would definitely recommend to a lot of you guys. But before I can officially get you to click that button and maybe check out to see if this Denali bar is the one for you, let's talk real quick about price. The Primal Armor Bar comes in at $315, that is according to their website today. Now if you go on their website and you read the description of the Denali Power Bar, one thing that I didn't particularly appreciate but I understand what they did is that they state on the page that the Denali Bar is up to IPF specifications. Now this doesn't mean, although it does weigh 20 kilograms exactly, or 44.2 pounds exactly. Sometimes it comes in at 20.1 kilograms, but well within the margin of error. Although it meets those IPF specifications, it is actually not IPF approved. So when you're comparing this to other bars on the market, like the Rogue 20 kilogram Ohio Power Bar, which is IPF approved, you can't really compare those. You have to compare this to the Ohio Power Bar, which does not carry the IPF approval, but it's of similar specifications. All that to say that I think that it compares best to the Rogue Ohio Power Bar in that black zinc coating, which comes in at $295, but this is where it gets interesting. So if you live in Ohio and you wanna go and travel to the Rogue headquarters and pick up your Ohio Power Bar when you buy it, this would not be the less expensive option for you. However, $315 from Primal Armor also includes this shipping cost. So if you have to ship the bar from Rogue, this may actually be the more affordable or right online option for you. At that point, if they're both $315, let's assume that it's $20 shipping, then you would have to basically weigh out, do you want a Rogue product, a Primal Armor product, because they're both made in USA, they're both veteran owned businesses, and if it was me making that decision, I would likely choose to go with the Primal Armor because I think that supporting small businesses is a little bit more important than getting a Rogue branded product. But at the end of the day, my recommendation of the Denali Power Bar is 100% just my opinion. So tell me what you think down in the comments below. Do you think that something like the Denali Bar stands up against the Rogue Ohio Power Bar? That's been it for this review. I appreciate each and every single one of you that watch the videos that I produce every single week. Remember, when it comes to your garage gym and your training, you should always keep it better, awesome, and of course, badass. I'll see you next time.